Well, I guess it's Studebaker Saturday. Fender's off. Uh, I plan on patching it, um, clearancing for the heater housing. Not yet, though. I want to lift the cab and box. I got to finish welding some stuff on the box on, on the underside. But uh, I wanted to try a set of seats. These are uh, 80 LeBaron seats. I got a gap there in the middle. I can go that way a bit. So I might be able to make it a lit as wide as I can. It's the dream anyway. Um, the armrest kind of protrudes in. And in my opinion, the armrest could go forward a little bit. So that'll be one of those things I'll change. Um, I'm really hoping to build this for comfort. got lots of room on this side so I'll be scooching that out pretty much till I fill that gap right there and whatever's left in between we'll get a little miniature console uh, gives us a touch more room for puppy and a place to maybe store a couple odds and ends drinks Kleenex band-aids Tylenol you know the important stuff uh, yeah, so I guess next I gotta go round up some steel and I'm gonna work on a framework. And from there, hopefully I'll get these things done by the week, by the time the weekend's over. And we've got a plan to reupholster. Husband and wife reupholstering job. Should be interesting. Should be fun. Doesn't have to be so fancy schmancy. But I'm just not gonna throw a blanket over them either. Uh, I'm contemplating, well, I'm certain there will be no upholstery on the back side, just to give me that, whatever there is here, that extra inch or a couple inches. You can always use a couple extra inches. Uh, yeah, this is going to turn into a all weekend project to make one little piece, but once the seat's in, I can gauge where I can put the gas pedal, then I can mount it, then I'm no longer driving with strings attached, because that's my uh, my gas pedal right now. <laughs> Steering wheel, I gotta find a better one. Apparently, the, let me just run this by you here. Move some junk. Probably got pieces on the floor, but I don't feel like looking for them, but I do have some here. In regards to the cancel cam, I don't have a steering wheel here, but this cancel cam for the turn signals, it actually will, is it broken? No, that's factory. It actually will work on this column. This is a 69 steering wheel on a 95 column, by the way. Um, but there's two different types. This one puts the cancel over here. And there's another one that'll put the cancel over here. So it, it in relationship to those little tabs underneath, or oh, I'm not in the cam, I'm not in the frame. But those little tabs, it'll throw the cancel off. I came across that with a uh, 69 Chevy with a custom wheel on it and the only one I had I gave to him so but I, I can't find any part numbers I would order the correct one and then I'd be golden so if anybody knows because there is a wheel I want to put on here and it's temporarily unavailable it's a it's one of those wood for wood rim wheels I think it would look nice in here. Uh, what else? There's a fender. There's a chrome grill from the Penny Boys. Derek was kind enough to pass it on to me. I'm gonna touch it up with a bit of silver paint, make it look as bad as I can. And if I don't like it, I can always go back to that one. But it will be a wall hanger, that one. Uh, fenders, I guess. 
I've got patch panels, but I'm not happy with those. I won't even comment on them. Well, okay, I'm gonna waste of money. So I'd have been better off just beating my own sheet metal out. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna go on a roundup and build a framework and then we'll take it from there. Maybe you guys will see me sitting on a seat that's mounted today. Looking at my steel pile. I don't have one. Hey, I need that. Okay, I'll keep that in mind for later. All right, I'll bring you back in a while. Them darn squirrels. So, for measurement and test fitting, I need to open the door from the outside repeatedly. The door handle doesn't work. So, down that rabbit hole I go, take it apart, and uh, I don't know, let's see where we are now. That door, I think, opens, so we're okay. I think it opens. Let's try it. Oh, yeah, we're good now. Boy, is that cab ever moved? There's a little bit of structure to fix. So, anyway. This square goes right out to the door handle. It was seized in there by the, you can tell by the way it is, I had to heat it. There was a rivet here that held a pivot. I ground it off, drilled through it with a quarter inch so I could count and countersunk it just a little bit. So it's gonna clear the trim panel so I can at least get this apart and service it. Now what had happened is right off of here is a little cam that does this pushes on a bar in here and where this piece rubs on that bar I can build it up with weld if I have to do the other side I'll probably make a video about it I just got so wrapped up in this oh yeah you bend these take them out uh, the only thing I got left is this little adjustment right here and uh, yeah fluid film to the rescue again just lube her up a little bit and she's golden now that's been a hassle Next will be window regulator. I don't need it today, but that's gonna be no fun. I don't mind taking these things apart and fixing them. They uh, seem to, eh, I broke these two screws. Happen to have these, they hide under the trim panel. It'll be fine. And I'll probably paint that or not. Maybe just clean it really nice. Uh, I haven't even looked down in here to see. Just undercoating and stuff. And again, oh, my light's missing again. It jumped away and took off. So that's that. I'll get back to this now that I've... I'll put the panel back on. I'll just quickly assemble it. And then I can get back to cutting steel, which is all here. And... Uh, the seat's originally mounted right here, so I'll be utilizing that for strength with the four inch flat stock that I have. And the uh, 90s and a couple of diagonals. Uh, yeah, it should work out fine. Okay, back at it. I decided to call it a day. Um, I was up really early. And uh, yeah, that door is done. My steel is here. I have a plan. I should be able to execute it tomorrow or later today. I don't know, see how I feel. But, uh, it is the weekend and I'm not in a rush. So I'll just work away at stuff. Um, yeah, so I guess that's it for now. As usual, I'd like to thank you both for watching. And uh, we'll see you again tomorrow.